Hello everybody, it's Sam here from Made to Surprise. Thank you for joining the Craft Stash National Friendship Blog Hop. So I'm really looking forward to doing this one. It's just a small blog hop with me and the other co-branders who work with Craft Stash. So check out the others below. Hopefully you've already come over from Helen's tutorial because she started the blog hop. But if you're just joining with me first, then check out the links below and you'll be able to see all of the other co-branders that are taking part in the blog hop today. Be sure to comment like and follow all of the other co-branders and then you'll be in with a chance to win a fantastic bundle of goodies and i know that there's going to be some wonderful prizes to be had so i've very kindly been sent a wonderful stamp set from sheena which i will show you in a moment and i have combined it with my five by seven wiper dies to create this lovely card here and then you just pull the sides and out pops a lovely dolphin and it says friends are the ones you click with which I thought was a very appropriate sentiment to work with the National Friendship Day. So I hope you enjoy this tutorial and make sure you watch till the end. Okay, so thank you, Sheena, for sending me your beautiful stamp set here. So I've already gone ahead and I've stamped the largest dolphin here and I've coloured it using my coloured pencils and then I've stamped the kind of medium one there and then you've got this one. And then I've taken the sentiment friends are the ones that you click with and I've just heat embossed that there I also already had these other pieces which go with Sheena's collection of the treasures of the deep so I've just stamped and colored the seaweed there and also the starfish and then the papers are from her paper pad and I've cut those there so I just wanted to show you the product that I've used to work with my five by seven rectangle wiper card set so this one now is my second collection so it's, it's over two years old and it's still just one of those real great kind of go-to sets so what you want to do is cut yourself two of the main die set here so this is a it's about a 270 gsm cardstock so i've cut two of those and then you want to cut your mat layer so i've cut this one here because this is going to go on the front and this is for the back of the card so i've cut this in white so i've got my place to write my message and then you've got your thinner layers here matte layers and i've cut these pieces here to just continue that th uh, scene and then i've cut two in the white and they just add a bit of strength to the back so that's all the dies cut for the main part and then this is the mechanism and this has a score line across the corner here and i've cut that using a piece of vellum if you've got your chrome plates, if you've got a Sizzix machine, you've got the chrome base plate, cuts um, acetate really nicely. And that's a construction weight as well. So it's going to be able to pop out the dolphin really nicely. In the set, you also get a sentiment. Yay. Uh, that one is uh, it's your it's your special day and you get the speech bubbles there as well. So you can stamp a, a message and have it popping up. But I'll link the other tutorials using this die set um so you can check out some other inspirations okay so this one is the front so i'm going to stick these ones down what you want to then do is fold this so you have a valley and a mountain fold so those two tabs will go underneath the main one okay again with that one now this is going on the back so i'm just going to turn this one around and then flip it over so they're going to go back to back like this so as it all closes it will fold into that five by seven size and then you pull the sides and then it's going to reveal our dolphin now i always like to put this together and then add the mechanism i just find it the easiest way but you can do one piece then add the mechanism and then do the other side so it's entirely up to you. Like I said, I've got lots of wiper cards on the uh, channel. So you can have a little look if you want to see some other ways of putting them together. And then open it up. You can now add your mechanism and then seal it. But like I said, I think it's just easier this way. It's quite easy to slide the mechanism inside. And that way you can see how kind of, you know, where you want it to be positioned and stuff. And again, there you can just see I've just stuck that side down so it will all fold flat that's what you want to have and then it would all stand up as well like i said you've got the back there for your message if you want to stamp anything more on obviously do that before but you can always add it at the end with this piece here this triangle here 
you want to you want it to be in the bottom left hand corner you just want to fold it in both directions for the minute and we're going to add double sided tape all on that triangle so then I'm going to slide in now you can trim this acetate it's entirely up to you everybody's going to have different things attached to it but it's going to slide down wherever we want it and the the side here this left side of the acetate needs to run with this side or where that kind of fold is there and then when you've got it where you want it you just push this piece down and it will stick on that triangle where we've added the adhesive and then when you lift that it will pull the acetate down and hide whatever's on there and then when you open it it will push it back out again so i'm just going to use double-sided tape and just i just stick it right across like this and then just trim off the um anything overhanging okay so i've just released all of the backing there so you can see this is all sticky now so you want it sticky in the on the top of the triangle and you want that in the bottom left hand corner so now i'm going to pop this in and i just want to make sure that i've obviously got enough of it there so that the dolphin can be on be on most of it like i said we can always trim this down so i'm going to come up higher I'm going to go about there. So that everybody's is going to be different. And now I'm just going to stick that down. And now when you close it, that will fold in. And that's why I said just fold the acetate both ways. And that way it will move better. But now you'll see that will pop up. And whatever you put on there is going to appear. Okay. So now with him, what I'm going to do is just pop some tape, just a little bit there for the minute just so I can kind of see where I think I want him to go. So it doesn't have to all kind of pop up, although it would look quite nice. Maybe I'm going to bring that down. Maybe there, let's just try that for a minute. Right, he's just, see, his nose is just tipping, at, um, poking out the top there. So I just need to come back just a little bit so i'm going to take that off and just pull him back that i think that's going to be enough there we go perfect so he's now completely hidden and now when he pops up i think that looks really nice i love that okay so now we can decorate so i've got the sentiment and then like i said i've got the seaweed so i thought it'd be quite nice he's going to be what i've done is i've put some like shape into them so I'm going to use some foam pads behind him there. That. I'm going to double up the foam. So he's really quite lifted in the middle. Like so. And then I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue down there and on the nose. And then maybe like so. As you can see, he's all nice and lifted in the centre there. And then I'm going to put some foam pads for the back of here. So I've just popped a little flag tail kind of detail at the end of the sentiment. And then I've left a bit more of white space there so that I can have things over the top and just disguise the end of the sentiment. So we have just kind of roughly placed those. So I'm going to trim the bottom but I think placement wise that's going to be about right so stick that one down and now we can just start building this up so I'm going to snip off the bottom maybe a little bit more on that one yeah I think that's better there so I think with this one all I need to do is just add a little bit of glue just on some of these doesn't need, oh, doesn't need too much because it's going to be held down with this is going to cover it in a moment. We can only need really a tiny bit of this. So I'm going to end up sneaking quite a lot of that away. Yeah, I think that would be enough. And then I might put a little bit of foam just at the bottom there. And again, just a little bit of glue, like so. 
and then this one here okay so i just moved them up a bit and then had the starfish covering the bottoms of the seaweed so i think that looks a bit better then i'm just going to finish it off with some of the water droplets so let's have a few so i'm just going to pop some glue just in a few places and that might be enough and this just ties in perfectly with that under the sea theme and there's the finished card i really like this one I like all the dimension and the water droplets and the heat emboss in there i think it all really does work well together and then you just pull the side and up pops that lovely dolphin and it can all be displayed open like i said you got your space on the back there to write your message so thank you, Sheena. I thoroughly enjoyed using your products and mixing it with some of my own dyes. I am now going to be passing over my Made to Surprise Love is in the Air stamp and die set to the wonderful Christina Griffiths of Card Making Magic. So here we go, Christina. You'll now find that next on her desk and I can't wait to see what she makes with it. So thank you for watching today and now head over and check out Christina's video. Take care. Bye.